I must be here. It's not a place you can get to by a boat or a train. It's far, far away.
sure if Dorothy's done anything to upset you. She'll be only too glad to apologize as best she can. It's gone beyond apologies, Mrs. Gale. I've laid an official complaint with the county sheriff. <laughs> Was he sober? <laughs> Dorothy, Miss Gulch here seems very upset. That dog is a menace to the community. That's not true. As an act of public service, young woman, I intend to take him to the sheriff's office and see that he is destroyed. Destroyed? Oh no, but you can't, you mustn't! Uncle Henry, Aunt Em, you won't let her, will you? Of course we won't, will we, Em? Oh, please, Aunt Em, Toto didn't mean to. He didn't know he was doing anything wrong. I'm the one that ought to be punished. You can send me to bed without supper. You hear how sorry the child is. Surely if she promises to give your place a wide berth. If you don't hand that dog over now, I'll bring a damaged suit that'll take your whole fall. There's a law protecting folks from dogs that bite. Well, how would it be if she keeps him tied up? He's very gentle, with gentle folk, that is. <laughs> well, that's for the sheriff to decide. Here is the order allowing me to take him. Unless, of course, you want to go against the law. <coughs> oh, yes. What's it say, Henry? Just what she says. You ought to hand him over, Dorothy. No, I won't let you take him. You can't go against the law, Dorothy. I'm afraid poor Toto will have to go. Now you're seeing reason. No, here's the basket I'll be taking him in so he can't attack me again. No, 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 I won't let you take him. You go away. Oh, I'll bite you myself, Dorothy. Oh, you wicked old witch. Uncle Henry, Auntie Em. Don't let him take Toto, please. Don't let him take him. Stop her! It ain't no use running, Dorothy. Hickory, I thought you were my friend. Oh, well, yes, your friend. We all are. You can't bite the law, honey. Some things are bigger than all of us. Let me have Dorothy. Oh, please. Please. Let me have the Henry. That's more like it. Don't go, oh, Henry. That's more like it. Oh, Toto! Elmira Gulch, just because you own half the county doesn't give you the power to run the rest of us. For 23 years I've been dying to tell you what I thought of you. And now, well, being a Christian woman, I can't say it. Well, I can't. So if you don't want to hear it, you better cut your hearts off of my land. I don't take kindly to that kind of talk, Henry Gale. Then why don't you climb on your broomstick and go visit us? <laughs> <laughs> that by yes. We're nearly done, Mr. Gale. Nearly ain't good enough. You get it done right now. Scatter again, dog, every minute, gosh darn it. Come inside with me. I'm not going anywhere with you. If you really loved me, you wouldn't have let Toto go. She had an order from the sheriff, Dorothy. What did you expect us to do? Just wave a wand and make it disappear? You still could have tried, at least. You stood there like you were stuffed or something. I just couldn't think of anything. I'm sorry. One mean old woman, and you were scared of her. We're in my place, Jennifer. fear. And you, worst of all, you stopped totally the way. I just, I just hate you. Oh, don't say that, Dorothy. Because when you tell me that, it makes me feel like my heart's all tore up. I don't care. I never want to see any of you again, ever, ever, ever. Toto was the only friend I had in the world. Oh, I've got no one to talk to, no one to play with, and I'll never see him again for as long as I live. Toto? Toto? Toto, darling! Oh, you came back! You got away from that horrible woman, you wonderful dog! But she'll be coming back for you any minute. We've got to get away. We've got to run away. We need food for me and a bone for you, and we've got to get far, far away from here. And we are never, ever coming back. Picture from the 
the measles gone too. Sounds like you've got one way on your hands. If she's on the road, I'll find her there and I'll take that dog back for good. If you're so anxious to have it, you should have looked after it better. Don't blame me. The cat 